All right, guys, even here with another video. And in this video, we're gonna go over Arnold Schwarzenegger actually trolling bodybuilders for not hitting vacuum. So we're gonna watch a few videos of that and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, my reaction. And also gonna talk about whether I think vacuum pose should be mandatory in class physique or even in open. So if you haven't seen these videos of him trolling these bodybuilders, I'm gonna play them right now. And so let's see, let's see what this is about. I just want to comment that this is my favorite category because as I told the guys, their posing was so extraordinary. Each one of you posed so well. You know, not everyone can win. I said, that's just the way it is. But I just want to compliment each one of you that it was unbelievable. And the vacuum that you guys did, I've been complaining about it for years that the guys are not doing vacuums anymore. Show your vacuum. Go do a vacuum pose. Yeah, let's do a vacuum pose. Let's do a vacuum pose. Watch this guy. Let's pause it right here. And I don't know about you guys, but this is so sad for me. I'm, <laughs> I just feel so bad watching this. And I imagine these guys, they are trying so hard for their whole lives to become good bodybuilders and they all find Arnold Schwarzenegger their role model obviously and they finally get on stage that here is his name and they win it George wins it and then Arnold comes personally to give him you know some support a few nice words and he is actually trolling him he's actually making fun of him he's telling him do a, do a little vacuum and this guy can do a vacuum I mean, I know, I know people who told me they were trying, they, they watched tutorials, they tried all that they could, but it just doesn't happen, you know, just some people genetically can do it. Me personally, I can do it ever since I was like 8 years old. It was just natural for me. And some people can do it, some people don't know, but they can actually learn how to do it. But some people just can't do it. I don't know how or why genetically just don't, can't do it, can't pull it off. Does everybody can learn how to do it? I thought that everybody can, but actually now I'm thinking that not everybody can do it. And what do I think? Is Arnold a bad person for doing this kind of trolling? Honestly, I don't think Arnold really understands what he's doing here. He just wants to see vacuum on his stage and that's it. That's all what Arnold cares about. And you know, Arnold is Arnold. Arnold has no haters. Everybody likes him, whatever he does. So, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not that bad. He's always praising these people. It's not like he's you know, putting them down. He just tells them, do a vacuum. But George can't do a vacuum. And pay attention to his stomach now. He's kind of trying to pull it up, to, to pull it in. And he actually manages to pull it in a little bit. But he is in pain. Both physical and psychological, I think, in this point. So, yeah, this is hard for me to watch, guys. Let, let's continue. Guys. See, that's what I'm talking about. Look at this vacuum. Look at this. Unbelievable, really fantastic, congratulations, really wonderful, yeah, great. So as you can see, he pulled it in a little bit for a little second and then he flexed his abs. And George is a very, very good guy, I listened to his interviews, he's a very, very nice person. And I feel so bad for him and I'm so bad for making this video. But I just have to comment on this, this is just a big thing. I mean, Arnold Schwarzenegger trolling bodybuilder, literally making fun of him. And yeah, it's, it's definitely a story to be told. But what is the point of it? The point is Arnold just wants to see vacuum and he is convinced that anybody can do it with enough practice. Maybe that's true, maybe that's not. Who am I to judge? I'm not sure. But uh, let's go with the next video. Let's actually watch last year's Arnold Classic, I think it was Australia, when Kai won. And in this case, he is trolling Kai now. Let's see one more, let's see one more double, bicep double bicep shot. With a great vacuum. With a great show vacuum. them now how to, them now how to do that. Watch this, guys. Watch this, guys. What is? Look at that. Look at Give that. him a big hand. So the same story once again. Arnold trolling Kai Green in this case. And he knows. He knows very well that Kai can do vacuum. He knows that Kai's stomach is descended. He has a bubble guts. There I said. And it just makes me so sad. It makes me feel sorry for him. I know how it is to prep for a show. And what these guys are doing is top level. I can't even imagine. And they're doing it for several months and then when they receive the award the person who carries the name of the, the competition and who is probably their biggest idol trolls them makes fun of them it's really just so sad but it is what it is that's who arnold is he, arnold is honest always has been and always will be hate him or like him but i'm sure you like him that's who he is but here you will see an example of actually applauding to somebody because of success when it came to stomach and that's actually Rolly Winkler so let's see this 
And as you can see, when bodybuilders listened to him, like Rolly Winkler did, he absolutely did and he made an amazing transformation. He really got that stomach down so much. I don't think he actually trimmed anything down, but I think he just learned how to control it properly. And that's all Arnold asks for, you know, do vacuum, wear a belt while you train, whatever it takes, you know, just bring that waist down. And that's what Rolly did and he got an amazing praise from Arnold himself. And Arnold is definitely one of the greatest bodybuilders of all time, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, well I would say the biggest fitness influencer of all time. So he's like the godfather of bodybuilding, you must listen to him, you can't just ignore him like these other guys did, like Kai and George. If you listen to him, if you do what he says, he will praise you and that's gonna mean something to you. So you better try to, to pull off the vacuum or just make your waist as tight as possible. You know, show it to him, especially if you're doing Arnold Classic. If you're doing Olympia, who cares? But if you're doing Arnold Classic, obviously you have to do it. If you don't do it, you will be trolled by Arnold Schwarzenegger himself. And you won't like it. I'm sure you won't like it. And here is an example of an open class bodybuilder actually doing an amazing vacuum. And this is one of the biggest, I'd say, maybe not the best, but the biggest vacuums I've ever seen before. Granted, he's not as big as Rolly or Kai, but he's doing it. Then you have Sean Ray, who was a great vacuum poser. His vacuum was amazing. And he was a great bodybuilder as well. Pretty big, pretty big guy. Uh, also, there is Frank Zane, who had, I would say, the best vacuum of all time. This just looked insane. This is just very crazy, but also beautiful. Also very aesthetic, which is, which is impressive. Then you have Arnold himself, also an amazing vacuum. His waist was a bit wider, so he did this kind of uh, variation of front double bicep to make his waist look slimmer. Then you have Chris Bumstead, classic physique runner-up, and in my opinion should have been the winner, who actually has an amazing vacuum. He has very, very good vacuum. And then you have some guys who are also very, very aesthetic, very, very aesthetically pleasing, like Danny Hester and Brion Ainsley, the current champion. Actually, they're both champions of classic physique, which sends a message a little bit. And they don't do vacuum. I know that Brion can do it. I'm not sure about Danny. They just don't want to do it. They don't think that's the best pose for them. And if Arnold, you know, called them out and the Arnold Classic, they would be able to do it. I'm not sure about Danny, but I know Brion can. And then you have George Peterson, as you can see. He's not pulling it off. He just can't do it. And he's not aesthetic at all. He looks like, like a 212 bodybuilder. Not aesthetic at all. And Arnold didn't like this. And me personally, I didn't like it either. Not only because of the vacuum, but simply because of the shape of his muscles. But the judges can't judge the shape. If everybody has the same muscularity, same conditioning, same presentation, posing, symmetry, balance, everything, then the guy with the best, with the most beautiful genetics would win. But that wasn't the case in the Arnold Classic, you know, uh, George was obviously much better than Steve, and uh, those lines weren't good enough. I didn't like the decision, but it is what it is. And what do you guys think about this? Do you think anybody can actually learn how to do vacuum? Do you think it should be mandatory in classic physique or in open bodybuilding? What do you think? I'm not sure, honestly. I don't think that anybody can do it, but if anybody can learn to do it, then it should be a mandatory pose, and everybody will have to try, and then you will have much more aesthetic physiques on that stage, which would be very amazing and much, much more exciting than it is today. So, uh, like the video if you enjoyed this video, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.